In this video people profile, we will look at the life and the culture of a forgotten people. Thailand's largest people group, the 20 million Isan. In a dry and windswept land, Isan farmers work hard in thirsty fields to make a living for their family. Here in Thailand's heartland, old customs and lifestyles survive among the friendly and polite. Through the years, limited efforts of successive and generally indifferent governments have also contributed to their feelings of isolation. Isan have among highest population density, unemployment levels and rates of poverty in the nation. Isan's main export is labour. Many Isan families rely heavily on funds sent back from outside jobs. Thus Isan can be found working to make a living in Bangkok, Singapore and as far away as the Middle East. Beneath the poverty and hardship, the Isan hold a treasure within their history, one that dates back to early civilization. In the 1960s, archaeologists unearthed fragments of painted pottery in burial sites located in the Udantani province of northeast Thailand. The ancient peoples had filled pots with their earthly treasures in hopes to take it with them into their next life. These 7,000 year old painted designs can still be seen on the Isan pottery of today. Over the centuries, people from Laos migrated south into northeast Thailand to what is now known as Isan. In recent years, the government has attempted to unify the country by making Central Thai the official written language. This is seen by some as a way not to unify, but to destroy the Isan culture and language. The Isan cling to their traditional arts. Family looms have been passed down through the generations, keeping their beautiful craft of their unique silk weaving alive. The Isan's tapestry of life weaves an interesting blend of fatalism and good humour. Like their life, the Isan love their food hot and spicy. Their zest for life is also reflected in their unique musical styles. Using bamboo and wood instruments, they create beautiful ethnic sounds. Music envelops all areas of Isan life, especially when it comes to their celebrations. Welcome to the Rocket Festival. This is the biggest festival of the year. Today is the first day and you'll see lots of activities. For the Isan region, this is one of the most timeless and bountiful celebrations to welcome the monsoon season. The Rocket Festival symbolizes asking the gods for rain to allow the rice planting season to start. Beginning with rituals, the ceremonies quickly turn into days of action-packed celebration. Beautiful women in traditional costumes, each representing their community, join the parade festivities, while crowds of drunken revelers, fueled by whiskey and beer, dance in the streets and have mud fights. The festival ends with a bang. Rockets are packed tight with gunpowder. Each village hopes to have the most impressive rocket flight, to be guaranteed good luck for the years to come. Mixing fun with their Buddhist ideals is a strong Isan cultural trait. 95% of the Isan embrace the Buddhist religion blended with animism, a belief that spirits reside in the land. Fearing that these spirits will possess their houses and bring harm or evil curses, spirit houses and temples are built to give the spirits a place to live. By making merit, the Isan believe that they will ensure themselves of a better next life on the long road to Nirvana and ultimately reach enlightenment. Becoming a monk Trying to keep the five precepts and performing religious ceremonies are all attempts to win merit and hopefully improve their status in the next life. The desires of today's youth are changing. They are focusing on success rather than beliefs and traditions. Attention exists. Progress is bringing hope to a people who had once only had poverty but also the rapid pace of change is causing burdens for many Isan people. The youth are becoming more interested in what the modern world has to offer. There is a dramatic increase of those who are moving out of the Isan areas in hopes to find better opportunities in the big cities. 
Opportunities are hard to come by for young Yusan. Many end up going to the big cities like Bangkok for work or university. But life in the big city is not easy either. Many young people end up getting involved in gambling, drugs or even prostitution. In the end, they do it to survive because they find that success, even in the big city, isn't easy to come by. With so much influence from Western cultures in Thailand, technology is on the increase. In the past, youth would always stick with the traditions such as going to the temple and listening to the priest and acting righteously. But if you look at them now, how things have changed. Technology has become the primary need, not religion. Every home must have a TV or a refrigerator. All these things have become part of the culture. The Isan seek what the world has to offer, not knowing that God is seeking after them, longing that they would know his free gift of love and forgiveness. How can we see these people reached? Though Thailand has allowed missionaries to freely enter the country, few have focused on the Isan people, resulting in less than 1% following Christ. It is very hard for the Isan to question their Buddhist beliefs. Our culture is from the Buddhist and never heard about uh, Christian. If, if we, we go to be Christian, but some, many pe the people or our parents or yeah, our friend just tell us, you're not good, you are just like, you sell your, your country and yeah, and maybe you, now you destroy your culture, something like that. They have a, basically a perspective that to be Thai is to be Buddhist and to be Western is to be Christian. And so contextualized ministry where we, we try to, to take the values, the language, the culture, the music, dancing, the arts, as much as possible that, that are here in Isan and reinterpret those with, with some Christian meaning. Today, Isan Christians are beginning to use the Isan style of music for worship and communicating the gospel to their own people. I am originally from the Isan area. I use our cultures such as music, dance and traditional arts to share the gospel. It has worked very well. I have seen many people become Christians and the church is being established. There are many ministry opportunities among the Isan. I have a sport ministry with basketball, volleyball, and right now I have soccer team now that can play. And all of this I'm doing is to reach them for Jesus Christ. The young people can come and work among Isan people by building relationships, English teaching, prayer walks, and computer internet training. Pray for the Isan, that the Isan may be free from the burden of sin that more Christian Isan music and arts resources would be produced, that Isan Christians would live out their faith within Isan culture, and that more missionaries would focus on the needs of the Isan. They want to see a, a, a faith that's lived out and not just spoken about. And so they need to see something that, that touches their physical bodies and their, their hearts on their everyday life as opposed to just something that's, that's talked about. Well, it's a wide open and a great opportunity for foreigners, missionaries to come and help us. We need both a short-term and long-term volunteer to come and help us. So let's take up the challenge. There are some awesome opportunities to live out the gospel among the Isan. You have a lot to offer. Get prepared and go for it. <laughs>